The Houston Police Department has announced that Montrell Leonard Burley, 40, is in custody and charged with the murder of Daryl Gentry, 26, who performed under the name BTB Savage. Burley surrendered to authorities at the Harris County Joint Processing Center on Tuesday. Burley appeared in court on Tuesday, where the state requested no bond, while his attorney requested a $20,000 bond. The judge ultimately set Burley's bond at $1 million, stating that a previous conviction for failing to appear in court while out on bail presented a flight risk. Additionally, the judge expressed concern that Burley allegedly traveled a considerable distance to avenge the death of his friend. According to court records, Burley was previously arrested and in custody the day after Gentry's murder but was later released. However, he was again arrested and charged with narcotics possession during a traffic stop in New Braunfels on March 31. Burley was a passenger in the vehicle that police believe was used in the shooting at 2100 Mid Lane on March 30, which Gentry was a victim of. Court records show that Burley had rented the vehicle, and when police began asking him about it, he requested an attorney and ended the interview. It remains unclear why he was released. Documents also reveal that Burley was a close friend and fellow gang member of Omar Richardson, whom Gentry's girlfriend had shot in self-defense during a robbery at their home in San Antonio in February. In an interview days before his murder, Gentry described the incident, which resulted in Richardson's death, and indicated that San Antonio police had deemed the shooting justified. Social media posts show that Gentry had posted photos of himself at the crime scene hours before his death. Police tied the two murders together, citing retaliation, and believed that an unknown second suspect was involved in the incident. Police identified the suspect vehicle in Gentry's murder as a black Subaru Outback and tracked it via license plate cameras to Burley's address in New Braunfels. When they searched the vehicle after the traffic stop, they found a shell casing similar to the one found at the crime scene in Houston. Additionally, cell phone data from the day of the murder showed Burley's phone in the area at the time of the shooting. If Burley posts bond, he must wear a GPS monitor and surrender his passport, remaining in Texas for the duration of the case. The case remains under investigation, and police continue to search for the second suspect believed to be involved in Gentry's murder.